What's up, everybody? Doc Dark went on 85. There's levels to this. All right, guys, let's talk about this. Developers Direct. So it happened today. I didn't catch it live. I had to catch it after. I had to work late today. Got back from the gym. That's when I got to catch it. Anyways, long story short, it was all right. That's what I'm going to say. It was all right. So Forza Motorsport. Definitely something that I'm interested in. Looks amazing. I didn't see a release date. Unless I missed it, you guys let me know. But that game is definitely a must play as soon as it drops. I definitely want to see what this game does. I fully believe that this game is probably going to take advantage of the hardware that we all purchase that claim to be the most powerful console, right? So I am extremely excited for this game. You have no idea, okay? So Forza Motorsport definitely got me got me excited. All right. Next game. Redfall. What did he say? May 2nd? Was it May 2nd that they said? Okay, Redfall, May 2nd. I saw better looking gameplay than I've ever seen of this game. So I'm not going to lie to you. I am excited. I'm excited for Redfall. It's gotten me a little bit more excited. I like first-person shooters, though, so that might be, uh, I might be biased towards that, but I like it. I like the art style. I'm super happy that it's not zombies. I'm tired of fighting zombies. I'm glad that it's vampires, and I could see this being a pretty good game. I like the co-op aspect of it, so maybe I'll play it with ISO. Maybe I'll play it with my sons. We'll see, but I'm excited for Redfall. Cool. Elder Scrolls Online. I have never been an Elder Scrolls fan. I haven't even played Skyrim. Uh, what's the? I haven't. Even, I haven't played any of those games. But I'm not gonna lie to you. Watching this showcase or watching this direct, I'm not gonna lie, it got me intrigued. And the fact that I could play it right now and I could play all the other DLCs and all that other stuff, I have nothing to lose to try it. Right? I believe it's on Game Pass. So Elder Scrolls, okay. Cool, but Elder Scrolls is is it, is it multi-plat? I believe it is, right? Um, but I'm excited that I get to try, I get to try all the DLCs and everything, and yeah, so I, I'll give it a shot, right? So that's three games that I'm excited for, right? And then last but not least, not necessarily excited, but I'll definitely gonna give a try is gonna be the Hi-Fi Rush. It reminds me of like Jet Set Radio or Sunset Overdrive. I know a lot of people said that. That's kind of the vibes that this game gives, but it doesn't matter because I get to try and find out exactly what it is. So in the grand scheme of things, they showed what? They showed five games? Is that what they showed? What they show? Um, Minecraft Legends? Oh, Minecraft Dungeons or whatever it was, right? So Forza Motorsport. I'm excited for, but there was no release date, but I feel like I've already been expecting Forza Motorsport to be amazing. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, that game, I believe, has already been on Game Pass, so if I wanted to try it, I probably could have tried it. It's just this time they advertised a little bit better. Okay, so I'm excited for it. Redfall is a game that we already knew work was coming. We got a release date. Okay, that's great, and the gameplay did look a little better, but I was already going to try Redfall anyways. And Hi-Fi Rush is the only game that I wasn't expecting, knew nothing about. It gets dropped today, so I get to try it. I guess that's the game that really gets to save this showcase or whatever. Well, not really save, but it really gets to put a stamp on the showcases, depending how fun this game is. This game obviously is not graphically intensive or anything like that. It looks like it's mostly built on gameplay, right? So... I'm going to give it a shot. I might stream it tonight live on Twitch. If you want to come follow me, it's the same channel, Doc Doc 195 uh, But um, yeah, I might, I might give it a shot and see if I actually like it. So why, why do I say it's all right? It's because I wasn't blown out of my seat for anything, okay? We already knew Forza Motorsport was going to look great. Anyone that's trying to act like this is a showcase that really blew their minds, Come on, man. It already looks great. And the fact that they said that the game is running at 4K60, 
it's that's that should be right that standard it should be the ray tracing and all that other stuff we want to see the power of the xbox series x so i'm excited to see the power of the xbox series x but everyone knew that this was the game that was going to show the power of this machine so to be overly excited for it i'd just be capping right redfall again they showed a little bit more gameplay and it looked it's this is probably the best i've seen redfall look in my opinion so yeah, it got me intrigued. I'm, I'm enticed. But again, I'm not, you know, jumping crazy for joy. And like I said, Elder Scrolls, they, they promoted it well. I want to give it a shot now. Let's see. For those of you that know me, let me know if you think I'm going to like this game or not. And then um, Hi-Fi Rush. Let's give that a shot and let's see what's going on. I will say this, though. Okay. Shout out to J-Rock on Twitter. He put this up. No matter how you're looking at it, we are eating well. And by we, I mean Game Pass gamers. Again, it's not the fact of a game being exclusive or you being able to play it and me not being able to play it or me being able to play it and you not being able to. No, it, it's I care about what I can play. And right now, Monster Hunter Rise is on there, right? Atomic Heart is going to come to Game Pass, right? Hi-Fi Rush right now is on Game Pass, right? Um, isn't GoldenEye coming as well to Game Pass as well? Uh, so guys, we, we are eating pretty good. Redfall's coming in May. I mean, say whatever you want about Game Pass, but if you are a Game Pass gamer, you are sitting pretty. You got games to play. And that's not even counting the backlog. Like right now, I'm still playing Fallout 3. So... I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. But let, let me know what you guys think about this direct. They didn't show anything regarding Starfield at, at all. And at this point, I don't know, man. I have you you have never seen me on this channel capping for Starfield. That's that ain't me. You have never seen me do that. Okay. I've been telling you, I don't even know what Starfield really is. I watched the whole freaking I did a whole stream on watching all the Starfield content. I still don't fully know what it's about. Skyrim in space. That's what everybody keeps telling me. Or Fallout in space. Whatever. Um, Fallout 3 is the thing that got me maybe the most excited for Starfield. If Starfield is, is like Fallout 3 in that aspect of the way the game works where you can play it however you want. But I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Is it coming out this year? It's definitely not coming out the beginning of this year. We know that, right? Because they would have showed something by now. I hope so. So... I don't know. We'll see. You guys let me know what you think. Doc Doc 1985 is levels to this. We out. Peace.